Hi everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision Snowflake program. In this video, we are going to talk about change data capture CDC using streams. So streams is a concept which Snowflake has brought up. So before we jumping on to your statement, let's understand what is it traditionally, what how can we compare the traditional CDC with the stream CDC? So in traditionally, all the CDC change data capture or slowly changing dimensions. All this will be performed over an ETLs. So when you enter into ETLs, there are a lot of components we'll use where we want to perform a multiple joins with the sources or lookups you have to do. You need to bring up uh, logics for the identify inserts, updates, or deletes. So you need to write a lot of logic in your ETL to understand this CDC. Okay, to make our life easy. Snowflake has brought up a concept called as a stream. So stream is an intelligent enough to identify that the change in data. That means it able to identify what data is changing from the previous snapshot to the current snapshot. Okay, so we'll go into a little more detailed information reading through the statements. So the first statement says a stream is a snowflake object that provides a change data capture capabilities to track the change in a table. Okay, what that means as I said it able to understand what has been changed from the previous snapshot to the current snapshot what that means example if you take a customer there is a customer there is a telecom company like example we take an um, airtel or something so the customer is having an airtel connection so he is having a package he bought a package with some 500 rupees saying that unlimited data okay so next what happened is in next month he couldn't able to pay to 500 pounds or he could that data is not sufficient for him so what he has done is he's bumped up to the extreme data that means he is paying now with 700 pounds and he has changed his package so that means what happened the data got changed here okay so this streams are currently in a traditional way this change data capture is very important for the organization to understand the behavior of the customer so that they can able to understand eventually what the package has been changed by customer what better offers he can provide and they can gain the outcome out of it right so you need to understand the, the behavior of the customer to offer him a good business or a good package to him that that leads you to into a you know roi return on investment what you are doing Right. So the next statement says capture inserts updates and deletes as well as the metadata for the each change. Okay, that's nothing but a CDC. So what is CDC? It's an it captures all kind of transactions. It means inserts. That means a new customers are added to the telecom customer or telecom industry. Okay, that comes as a new customer as an inserts or update. So as I said, he had an unlimited data then he, he changed his package to the extreme unlimited data so that's something he has updated his package so updates also will capture and deletes deletes is nothing but this guy was there with an atl for some time he was not happy with the service and he moved to an order phone at zero so that means he is no more longer a customer to the atl so he is deleted from the uh, our data so we have to represent the same thing in our database also so that our downstream analytics or a marketing people will understand this customer is no more um, you know with us so that we will start campaigning him or we'll start sending a message to him so we we treat these as a delete so stream is intelligent enough to identify all the inserts updates and a deletes so the third statement right when a stream is being created on a table it initially it takes an initial snapshot of every row in the source table by initializing a point in time is called as an offset yeah this is a very important questions in interviews and in a certification point in time is nothing but an offset okay what is offset offset is nothing but a at a particular point of time there is a snapshot of the data that means when as i said as i taken an example you want to bump up the package okay what that means you already know the sub he is on a certain package so that particular point of time you know what is the information is nothing but an offset okay so what happens is on a particular table streams will be created on a table or views on a particular table when you create a stream what happens is in a next whenever the data appears it creates an offset okay so I'll explain in detail in the next next slides, but make sure you uh, offset is a very important point to understand and need to go to the certification. Okay, 
in next slides we will see types of streams there are two types of streams so one is a standard table stream and another one is app and only table stream standard table stream is like we discussed in the first uh, slide so it captures all kind of transactions inserts updates and deletes in second a table stream up and only stream this is for a there is a certain requirement saying that okay you are doing a atm transactions um you did an 100 transactions in a day your company is interested to know that all each and every transaction so that later they will do some kind of kpis or a metric analysis on top of it so what they do is every transaction will have in a transaction id so what they do is instead of a customer what they do is transaction id they will take and they will take all the records to be captured in a table so once all the records are captured then they will apply different kinds of metrics on top of it and they come up with a different marketing analysis okay let's understand the statement here tracks row inserts only so only, only inserts okay update and delete operations will not be recorded so streams will not go under any update or a delete operation analysis it simply takes inserts whatever the new customers or a new transactions appears it will just dump into your table okay so here what happens is what what he is saying is an append only stream returns the appended rows only and therefore can be better choice than a standard stream for a extract load transform etl operations and similar scenarios that depends on exclusive on a row inserts like i can say the exclusivity of um, choosing a requirement here is the requirement to have only the inserts i need to capture all the transactions in that case you can simply go to the append only so stream will provide that kind of nature as well so in ne next slide let's understand a one example how offset will create and how it is when the offset will get created and when the offset will get ready for the next transactions okay let's read through the statements suppose there are already 1 million rows of rows in a table okay there is a table customer table there is already 1 million customer information is there okay we create a stream on this table the stream will have no offset okay very important to understand when you create a table on it when you create a stream on a table okay there will be no offset created immediately okay the offset will created only after the new rows has been appeared inside the stream okay what that means in a second statement suppose there are a 1000 records inserted into a table from snowpipe copy into state okay snowpipe is a different concept it's just like it uses for the continuous data loading okay example there is a table we discussed there is a customer table there was already 1 million records on top of that we have created a stream okay stream will have no offset that means no in memory information is there okay what there was a 1000 records has been up, appeared now loaded into a table now the offset will create it what stream will do is the stream will have this 1000 rows recorded as an offset that means whatever the newly appeared records will be set as an offset and this offset will be used to compare with the existing existing snapshot that 1 million rows to identify if there are any new customers arrived or is there any customer has changed this package as an update or any customers are not appearing we will treat it as a deletes right so once that comparison is completed that means this all insert update delete are all nothing but a dml operations in a sql right so any dml operation happens on a stream okay once the operation is completed the stream will become empty and ready for the next transaction the last statement says the stream now will have no offset so that it will be empty because we have consumed the previous offset right so we already run, executed a dml operation on a stream and we we got to know what is update what is insert and what is delete so the operation is completed the offset will become empty and ready for the next trans transaction okay let's understand with an example here so if you see this this slide you can understand here this slide mainly for it three points okay so one is to understand how the data is going and stream will generate a metadata okay and how the uh, 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 you know offset will get empty here okay um, whoever is trying to attempt the core uh, snow uh, snow pro core um, certification or whoever is attempting the interview there will be a definite question what are the metadata columns will be available in a stream okay then we need to answer 
metadata action metadata is update and metadata roid i'll explain what is the pro uh, significance of these three fields let's understand this example so in v1 version 1 we have a single record called as a apple 5 so we got it as a new record so is action right uh, metadata action is observed it as an insert stream is automatically identified as an insert and then is update is false because it is not an update it's a new record and it assigns a row id this row id will be always unique for the each transaction okay if you observe the version 2 there is an orange 2 and banana 3 and apple 9 so apple was already existing you can see it is updated to 9 now so orange and banana has been actions as an insert because it is a newly arrived records and apple if you observe here clearly apple 5 has treated as a delete and update as true that means it was already existing and there was some change happened to it so in our table also we need to that make that change that's the reason it is is update has been turned as a true okay what happened existing record will be updated and apple 9 will go as a new record that means existing record will be updated as saying that till today apple was 5 okay and it is ended from tomorrow onwards apple is nothing but a 9 and that is a new inserted record and an active record okay row id will be unique for all the transactions and if you see the version 3 banana 3 that is nothing but the customer was being out of the organization he moved out of the organization okay it's a deleted record for us so stream is intelligent enough to understand with the previous snapshot or the offset it has created it says that action is equals to delete that means this guy is no more active with us so we will treat and we will put this information into table as a delete okay this slide provides the full detailed information how the stream works thank you for visiting this video